channel. So today's video is going to be a casual get ready with me and I'm going to show you guys some new products that I've picked up from Juice Beauty and the Hint Mascara and just like some new stuff that I've been trying out to show you guys on camera, show you how it performs and just kind of like chat and hang out. So I'm actually going to a family dinner tonight so I'm actually like kind of getting ready for something. So um, yeah, let's get into it. I repurchased the Juice Beauty Phyto Pigments Illuminating Primer. You guys know this is like my favorite primer and I've been out of it for, I wanna say like at least six months, maybe longer. Um, so I'm going to put a pump of this all over my face. This is a really good illuminating primer. It doesn't make your face look too shiny or too glittery or greasy or anything like that. And it's also really great if you like to do powder foundations like I do. Um, I also really need some chapstick. Okay. And then the next Juice Beauty product that I picked up is something new that I wanted to share with you guys. So I don't really do like BB creams and tinted moisturizers very often. I'm kind of like concealer and then powder kind of girl, but I've been wanting to have something like that in my makeup bag. So I decided to get the Juice Beauty Stem Cellular CC Cream. I got the shade um, Warm Glow and this has SPF 30 in it. So I like the packaging. It has like this nice nozzle. I'm not really sure like how I want to apply this I'm sure you can apply it with your fingers but I might try the beauty blender so I'm putting a little bit of that all over my face and I'm gonna take my yeah I feel like that probably absorbs too much I'm gonna rub that in with my hands it's very, very, very sheer coverage, so it's not really going to add a lot of coverage to the skin, but it will give me like a nice amount of matching color. I need some more. And then also it has SPF 30 in it, so it's great for being out and about and things like that if you just want something really minimal. And it has like a lot of skincare ingredients in it. It's a little bit like thick. So it's like kind of hard to rub in, but not bad. And it smells very skin carry. So basically you can't tell that I put anything on my skin. So I think it's mostly for like the SPF and the like positive skin ingredients. I'm going to try just putting a little bit more. Also, I think it's a really good color match for me. So I don't think it's like really showing up, which better than the alternative. All right, well, I guess that's nice. Maybe it'll give a nice like base to other products, but I mean, that's kind of what I wanted was just something to put on on like no makeup days that provides SPF when I'm like out and about. So I guess I'll let you know what I think of this down the road. And then I think I'm gonna use my Fit Glow Concealer today, so some of that on okay and then blend it with my beauty blender All right, and then I think to set the face down a little bit, I'm actually gonna put some of my Alima Pure Powder Foundation on just for a little bit of added coverage and then we'll see how that looks over the tinted or the CC cream thing. And again, I kind of just like avoid the eye area and let the concealer just like be as it is. Okay, so just kind of set everything down. 
And then for bronzer, I finally used up the rest of my Well People Bio Bronzer, the bronzer stick. So instead of repurchasing that, I'm going to try and use the um, the All Natural one. And I have, it's a cream bronzer in the shade Latte. Originally when I tried this, I thought it was a little bit too red for my face or my skin tone, but we gotta work out what we got. So I'm just taking my Real Techniques stippling brush and getting the product onto the brush and then applying that on the outskirts of my face. Definitely gives you a really, really natural tan. So because it has almost that more reddish undertone to it. Um, so let me talk to you guys about some stuff. So if you haven't if you don't follow me on Instagram or you don't really follow along with me, um, my husband and I are going back to Philadelphia with the Philadelphia Eagles. We've been there for four years and then we are just with Minnesota and then Josh got hurt and then now we're going back to the Eagles. So we have to start from square one. We don't have anything out there and technically we don't know how long we could possibly be there for so it makes things really really complicated as far as do we bring our car do we rent an apartment do we do all these things that normal people don't think about so we're in the midst of doing that right now i'm actually heading out there this weekend i'm filming this on a wednesday i'm not sure when I'm, it's gonna be up um so that is what's going on but i have i'm seeing my family tonight like a family dinner I think I said that's why I'm like getting ready and yeah so on the road again leaving our house which is sad to live in a barren apartment so that's my update with that okay I actually think that this looks really nice it looks really like natural and just like pretty so I think that's good maybe I really like to do a lot Okay. All right, and then what's next? I am going to brush up my eyebrows. The next product I was really excited to share with you guys is the new Juice Beauty um, eyebrow gel. So I had mentioned that I really wanted to try this. I finished the 100% pure one, which also has been sold out in the soft brown, like the lighter color for a really long time. So um, Juice Beauty came out with a little brow pomade. So I was really excited. Um, this is what it looks like, a little tiny brush. And it's definitely like a very moussey texture and too much product comes out on the brush. So I'm gonna like rub a bunch of that off because I don't want too much in the brow and then you know just gel them up like normal but it's a very it's nice because like a decent amount of product does come off onto your brow instead of there being like nothing you know what I mean and I really do like the texture of it I have the shade I think the lightest one which is light medium I think there's just two shades and this is like a perfect match. So if you have like light brown or blonde hair, this is probably the one you wanna go for, unless your brows are really dark. But so far, I'm really impressed by it. Like I said, the color match is really good and I like the texture of the product, but you just have to make sure you definitely rub off some of the product before you put on your brows, cause still I got like a lot, I mean like a decent amount onto my eyebrows, so. So far I really like that and it's nice to have something. Um, Juice Beauty is often available at a lot of Ulta stores and since that other one has been sold out, this is a really great option. Um, I'm actually gonna do a little eyeshadow today so I've gotta, prom my, I've gotta prime my eyelids a little bit, which is not organic. And I think I'm gonna use that Airy Perez palette that I have because that's all that's in my makeup bag. So I'm gonna use the Ari Perez um, Gorgeous palette. 
I've shared this in a few videos with you guys. I'm just gonna do a little something light. Um, let's see, I'm just gonna take this second shade here, the brown, and throw that into my crease. Pretty much the same as like using a bronzer or whatever in your crease. Hi, Junie. My cat's right here again, so the blinds are getting all messed up. Apologize. So I'm just gonna leisurely slash casually do that. Basically just put it all over my eye. And then I'm gonna take the first shade, this like goldish kind of copper one, and just pat that onto the lid. Just want something really simple, but more than absolutely nothing. And it's actually like really, really nice weather here in Oregon right now. And it's like really sunny and it's gonna be like 80 degrees today. It's so crazy. It's like the last few days of summer. So everyone's like gonna be enjoying it, which is nice, which is why I'm wearing such a fun top. Okay, and then let's see. The next thing I'm gonna do is curl my eyelashes and then I want to use that Hint um, mascara and show you guys that in action. And then we should also do some highlighter. Oh, we forgot to do blush and blush. I forgot to do blush. Okay, for blush, I'm gonna use my trusty Glossier Cloud Paint. This is the shade Puff, which is like a baby bubblegum pinkish shade, which I think is really pretty. And my favorite way to apply it is just put some on my hand here and then get my brush in there and tap it onto the cheek. Let's do mascara and then we'll do um, highlight at the end. So this is the Hint Mascara. They kindly sent this to me and it reminds me a lot of the Crunchy Mascara which gives a really, really natural look to the lashes and I do have a review on the Crunchy Mascara but the packaging is very, very similar. It's like really sleek, kind of heavy black packaging. And then the brush is very like traditional mascara brush. Um, very like normal looking natural bristled brush and it gives a really natural look but it applies a lot more than the crunchy one did that one like barely put any product onto the lashes which if that's what you're into like it's great for that but this one kind of does the same thing but basically better in my opinion it gives a really really natural look to the lashes like it just starts coating them um, but you can't even like see that there's a ton of mascara or like a ton of product on them. And in turn, I think it makes my lashes look more like lash extension-y, which I really like that look. It just looks like natural but enhanced. So I've been really into it and it, um, it doesn't really like flake or smudge, which is one of their like you know, advertisements about it, but I actually think it's really true. Like I've kind of like laid around and like messed up my mascara when I have this on and it doesn't really get nasty all over my eyes or get really like flaky or crumbly. It's just like really a unique formulation. So if you guys can see it's on and nothing there, it just looks really, sorry, this lighting it just looks really natural. And I feel like you can layer it up a bunch because it doesn't really get like crunchy or fully like dried out in between layers. So you can kind of build it up to whatever you want it to be. But I really like it. I think it's a really nice option, especially if you like that more natural look. I think like I'm not really a super natural mascara type of person and I really like this. So. I think it's a really, really good one. I'm, I'm actually really surprised by it. At first I was like, uh, it's not really gonna put off a lot of product, you know, whatever. But then I started using it and like actually layering it up a little bit and I was very impressed. 
Okay, I just layered a few coats of that mascara on. I think it looks really nice, natural, like I mentioned. And then the last things we're gonna do is put on a little highlighter. Nothing new here. I just feel like using my Living Luminizer by RMS. So I actually haven't been using this a ton lately. Just want like a classic highlight, you know? I'm gonna apply that to the cheekbones. And I feel like the makeup look is already a little bit dewy with like the cream bronzer and the concealer and everything. But put a little that on. And then the only lip gloss I have up here is my Fit Glow Ever lip gloss. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on because it has some chat stick on already. But you guys know the Fit Glow lip glosses are my absolute favorite. The, the Ever one is kind of like a berry color, but it comes off pretty sheer. And I know they've come out with some new colors. And then Nudie is like my everyday pink one that I keep in my purse, which I also love. All right, you guys. So that is it for this video. I just wanted to share with you some of that new Juice Beauty makeup and show you that mascara in action and just do like a casual little video showing you how I'm doing my makeup today. And I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have questions or comments about the products or anything, you can always leave them down below. If you like my channel, feel free to subscribe to it. And I'll see you guys in my next video.